This is the Claret Cemetery. It's right outside of Claret, Texas. And we're here today to visit the grave of a veteran, Paul Partain. He, of course, was in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 1974 original And he was Franklin Hardesty. His sister was Sally Hardesty in the movie. And they have a lock on here. We'll see if we can get in. It was very easy to get in. This is a beautiful old cemetery. Here's where we came in. They have a marker here. See a Confederate flag. says Joseph and Elizabeth Salmon and their children moved to the Republic of Texas in 1839. They settled in this area in 1854 when their 15 year old son Albert died in 1858 he was buried at his favorite campsite in a grove of oak trees on the family land. Albert's brother Joseph Salmon deeded the acre of land surrounding the grave site for use as a community cemetery in 1876. Have some large benches here. Now Paul Partain's grave is down at the end. Paul died from cancer in 2005. He had served in the Navy during the Vietnam War. After that, he had a part, part-time job where he was working in a theater, dinner theater, and that's where his acting career started. The director got Paul a role in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in 1974. He read for the part of the hitchhiker, but they didn't like it. So they had him read for the part of Franklin Hardesty, who was wheelchair bound. And of course he got the role. He was married to Jean Partain.
this is the end of the cemetery, Claret Cemetery. And I've spotted the grave of Paul Partain down on this end. And you can enter here. It says, do not drive in cemetery. Please stay on driveway outside a fence. So let's go in and uh, see. It has a little clip here that we're going to go in in this entrance. From that entrance that we just talked about, we come into the cemetery and his grave is right by this bush. have a little bench here but once you reach the bush you see the grave of Paul Partain Partain Paul A, November 22nd, 1946 to January 28th, 2005. And this is May 7th, 1976. And his wife, Jean, Jean E, August 12th, 1943 to August 19th, 1998. And we're right by the bush. They have a little resting area. You can leave your name and address to get on the mailing list. And this is in memory of Welcome to Claret Cemetery. Nice comfortable bench and you get a view of the flag.